In this video, we will go over parameter groups and cascading parameters. So first we will go over param parameter groups. So we're going to create a new parameter group and we're going to call that group one. So with parameter groups, what we're doing is we're grouping them in a, in a display. So whenever you want to add a new group, you're just adding a parameter to that group. So I'm just going to add a few parameters here. And another parameter here. Okay, so let me delete out everything I had here previously. And let's just add another group so you can see how that looks visually, group two. And we'll just add a parameter here. So when we go to preview the report, you see how the parameters are grouped into group one and group two. So this is just if you have a large report and you need to group out the parameters for the user, or you may have a long list of parameters, you can kind of group them so when they scroll down, it's easier for them to see which group they want to edit the parameters in. So now let's go over cascading parameters. And so what a cascading parameter is, it's a parameter that filters based on another parameter. So we're gonna look at our data set. And we're going to base our parameter off of this data set. And we're going to use the category and type. So category has reseller and customer and no discount. And type has um, no discount, volume discount. But you can see this category filters down to the next category. So we're going to use that for our cascading parameter. And this works in, on any type of data set. It's just going to filter down on one row and whatever is in, contained in that row will show up in the next parameter. So let's add a new cascading parameter group. And we're going to use one data set and we're going to add This is category. Category. And the data set is going to be special offer. Value is going to be category. Click OK. And then next we want to Add type, and this time it's automatically picking your data set for you. And next, we'll pick the value, which is type, and we could also add in our display text too. So let's just go back here and add in our display text too. And click OK. Now, let's view that. So we had our first parameter groups, and now we have our cascading parameter. So you'll see you won't be able to pick type at all until you pick category. So you must pick a category. We'll pick a reseller. And now we can pick type. 
which is all the types that have a reseller reseller as category. So now we will select no discount and you see we only have one value for no discount. And customer. And you see we have two of the values from customer. So that's how a uh, cascading parameter works is filtering based on another parameter. And so that is it for parameter groups and cascading parameters.